Oh God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. Sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Alleluia. The morn had spread her crimson ray, when ring the skies with shouts of praise. Earth joined the joyful hymn to swell that brought despair to vanquished hell. He comes victorious from the grave, the Lord omnipotent to save and brings with him to light of day the saints who long imprisoned lay. Vain is the cavern's threefold ward, the stone, the seal, the armed guard. O death, no more thine arm we fear, the victor's tomb is now thy beer. Enough of death, enough of tears, enough of sorrows and of fears. O oh, hear yon white-robed angel cry, death's conqueror lives no more to die. Grant, Lord, in thee each faithful mind, unceasing paschal joy may find, and from the death of sin set free, souls newly born to life in thee. To thee once dead who now dost live, all glory, Lord, thy people give, whom with the Father we adore, and Holy Ghost forevermore. Amen. You have filled me with gladness, Lord, I will sing for joy at the works of your hands. Alleluia. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning and your truth in the watches of the night. On the ten-stringed lyre and the lute, With the murmuring sound of the harp. Your deeds, O Lord, have made me glad, For the work of your hands I shout with joy. O Lord, how great are your works, How deep are your designs. The foolish man cannot know this, and the fool cannot understand. Though the wicked spring up like grass, and all who do evil thrive, they are doomed to be eternally destroyed. But you, Lord, are eternally on high. See how your enemies perish. All doers of evil are scattered. To me you give the wild ox's strength. You anoint me with the purest oil. My eyes looked in triumph on my foe. 
years, my ears heard gladly of their fall. The just will flourish like the palm tree, and grow like a Lebanon cedar. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God. Still bearing fruit when they are old, still full of sap, still green, to proclaim that the Lord is just. In Him, my rock, there is no wrong. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. Sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. You have filled me with gladness, Lord. I will sing for joy at the works of your hands. Alleluia. It is I who bring death and I who give life. I inflict injury and I bring healing. Alleluia. Give ear, O heavens, while I speak. Let the earth hearken to the words of my mouth. May my instruction soak in like the rain and my discourse permeate like the dew, like a downpour upon the grass, like a shower upon the crops. For I will sing the Lord's renown, O proclaim the greatness of our God. The rock, how faultless are his deeds, how right all his ways, a faithful God without deceit, how just and upright he is. Yet basely has he been treated by his degenerate children, a perverse and crooked race. Is the Lord to be thus repaid by you? O stupid and foolish people, is he not your father who created you? Has he not made you and established you? Think back on the days of old, reflect on the years of age upon age. Ask your father and he will inform you. Ask your elders, and they will tell you. When the Most High assigned the nations their heritage, when he parceled out the descendants of Adam, he set up the boundaries of the peoples after the numbers of the sons of God, while the Lord's own portion was Jacob, his hereditary share with Israel. He found them in a wilderness, a wasteland of howling desert. He shielded them and cared for them, guarding them as the apple of his eye. As an eagle incites its nestlings forth, by hovering over its brood. So he spread his wings to receive them, and bore them up on his pinions. The Lord alone was their leader. No strange God was with him. Gloria Patri et Filio, Et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. 
It is I who bring death and I who give life. I inflict injury and I bring healing. Alleluia. You have crowned your anointed one with glory and honor. Alleluia. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Your majesty is praised above the heavens, on the lips of children and of babes. You have found praise to foil your enemy, to silence the foe and the rebel. When I see the heavens, the work of your hands, the moon and the stars which you arranged. What is man that you should keep him in mind, mortal man that you care for him? Yet you have made him little less than a god. With glory and honor you crowned him, gave him power over the works of your hands, Put all things under his feet, all of them sheep and cattle, yes, even the savage bees, birds of the air and fish that make their way through the waters. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Gloria Patri et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. You have crowned your anointed one with glory and honor. Alleluia. A reading from St. Paul's Epistle to the Romans. None of us lives as his own master, and none of us dies as his own master. While we live, we are responsible to the Lord, and when we die, we die as his servants. Both in life and in death, we are the Lord's. That is why Christ died and came to life again, that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. He hung upon the cross for us. Alleluia, alleluia. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, Alleluia. Peace be with you, it is I, Alleluia. Do not be afraid, Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our Father and to remember his holy covenant. 
This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. Peace be with you, it is I, Alleluia. Do not be afraid, Alleluia. Eternal Shepherd, look on your flock as it rises from sleep. Feed us with the word of life and the bread from heaven. Keep us safe from wolf and hireling, and make us faithful in listening to your voice. You are present to all who preach your gospel, and give power to their words. So make us today preachers of your resurrection by our holiness of life. Be our great joy that no one can take from us, so that we may reject sin with its sadness and reach out to eternal life. Lord, may your resurrection bring us the riches of your grace. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God our Father, look upon us with love. You redeem us and make us your children in Christ. Give us true freedom and bring us to the inheritance you promised. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.